Hi guys, I'm Ajay from Networker Sum Technical Tea, and today we'll be going with a very interesting and very in-demand topic, which is about Splunk. Okay, so today I'm going to walk you through what is Splunk, why you should use Splunk, what are the use cases, what are different certifications, okay, and how Splunk fits into an organization. So let's get started. So first thing, let's talk about what is a Splunk. So Splunk is basically a powerful tool if you want to search, visualize, and analyze your log data. Okay. So we know that what about logs? So logs are all the machine generated data. Okay. All the machines, they are generating a number of events and those events are getting recorded. That means basically anything happening in the system is what? A log. And those log messages, those are stored inside the systems. Correct. But how to analyze them let's say at a particular point of time at a later point of time you want to analyze it that okay what's going on in the device okay so you can do those things with the help of splunk okay and your splunk turns a machine data into actionable insights for it security business intelligence okay so splunk helps you to visualize that log data and make some in actionable insights out of it okay now that we know what is Splunk. Okay, let's move into why you want to use Splunk. Okay, why somebody should be using Splunk. So there are a number of benefits for using Splunk. The first benefit is about real-time monitoring and alerting. Okay, like in a network, you might be having thousands of devices. Okay, but manually going and checking logs for all those thousands of devices or hundreds of devices is not possible. And each device is continuously generating logs. That means kind of you can say like every minute thousands of logs are generate, getting generated. So it's not possible for a person to go and look uh, look into the logs and you know analyze it and make something out of it. So what to do then? You can use Splunk and Splunk will do what Splunk will perform real time monitoring. That means as soon as the log message is generated, Splunk will start analyzing that log, correlating that log and finding out the patterns in the logs that somehow is that particular log related to some sort of attack or any unauthorized access, right? Then advanced analytics and reporting. So this is another key benefit of Splunk that you are capable of performing advanced analytics on the logs and you are capable of generating reports. Then after you can talk about centralized log management. So you don't have to go and check the logs in all the different different devices. Splunk is the place where you will get all the logs, okay? You can configure all your devices to forward logs to Splunk, right? So what will happen? All your network devices will be forwarding all the logs to the Splunk. And Splunk is where all those logs, as soon as they reach Splunk, Splunk will start analyzing those logs. If you want to manually check, we can manually check the logs. Otherwise, Splunk is already investigating the logs and is going to give us alerts whenever required. Okay, because whatever the alerts you will configure, you will configure certain condition uh, that if that particular condition is met, then an alert, uh, alert, alert should be generated, right? So we can do that. Then is Splunk is what? Splunk is having features of an SIM device, which is about security information and event management. It has all the capabilities. Okay. And basically Splunk itself is an SIM tool only. And there are common use cases. You can use it for IT operation monitoring. You can use it for security analytics and business intelligence. Okay. Everywhere Splunk fits in. Now, Let's talk about what are the key features of Splunk. So some of the key benefits we have seen. Now we will be talking about the key features of Splunk. So first is what about data collection and indexing. So your Splunk is going to collect data from multiple sources. Okay. And it is going to collect logs, matrices, cloud and on-premise system from every single thing. Okay. Whether the device is present locally or it is on the cloud, you can collect the logs. Okay. Splunk is capable of collecting the logs from there. Then Splunk is going to index the data. So indexing means basically Splunk is going to put the data into a standard format. We know that, okay, in a network, there can be a number of devices. Okay, and number of devices means you might be having routers, which is firewalls, computer servers. Okay, some of them might be running, let's say, computers. So some of them might be running Windows and some of them might be Linux, Linux systems, Mac OS, right? So different types of system will be generating logs in a different format and a different way. But what Splunk is going to do is going to index the data and put the data into standard format. Okay. So data collection and indexing it is going to do. And for complex queries, it is going to use the 
search language and Splunk has its own SPL that is Splunk processing language where you are able to make complex queries and data analysis like, like I said we can manually search into the logs so how you are going to search into the logs with the help of SPL queries okay Splunk process lang uh, Splunk processing language queries right then Splunk is also going to provide you with interactive dashboards and reports so whatever the things you are most likely to see and let's say are of more interest to you so what we can do that particular searches we can make and we can save those searches as dashboards so what will happen every day we don't have to go and make the same searches we can just go and open our dashboard and everyday queries automatically made we will be having more visibility into the logs okay that means every day you don't have to run the same queries you have the dashboard where you'll get updated with all the changes that are coming over the time right then customizable reports for data driven decision making so that means we can customize the report like earlier i said with the help of splunk we are capable of generating the reports but splunk also provides us options to edit or customize those particular reports as per our requirement okay like any sim there can be right it has it should be capable of you know generating reports for multiple you can say it should be capable of generating reports for different different uh, standards okay different different industry standards you know like pcis uh, pci dss hipaa gdpr right and it should also be capable of generating reports for some upcoming now how do we know about upcoming so for that reason they will provide you with the facility of customizable reports and Splunk has that particular capability that you are able to customize your report as per your requirement so these are some of the key features of Splunk now the next thing we can talk about is the use cases that where Splunk is being used in what kind of industry so Splunk is highly used in cyber security okay why in the threat detection and incident response then security information and event management for all the SIEM tasks your Splunk is being used in the IT operations it is being used for monitoring infra health and application performances right then in the business analytics also the Splunk is highly being used okay Splunk is highly being used there as well so you can you know perform customer behavior analysis sales insights operational intelligence you know organizations like Amazon Flipkart all these e-commerce businesses so they can see their sales insights that okay for, uh, how many sales have been made in a particular time frame okay from which area the more uh, most number of sales came in or in which area the most number of orders were placed okay then you can see they can also check like you know in which particular area more number of people added the product to the cart but they did not complete the purchase so all those kind of stuff is like you know we are capable of doing with the help of Splunk so Splunk almost fits in every organization right then after if we talk about what are the Splunk products and solutions so you can have an on-premise solution you can have a cloud solution Splunk is available in both the ways okay and we have different different features like you know you can go with the Splunk Enterprise, Splunk Security and like we have Enterprise Security in the Splunk also okay so like I said you can have on-premise solution for Splunk then you can have Splunk Cloud Platform which is basically a SaaS platform okay so it is delivered as a software as a service then Splunk has its own IT service intelligence that is ITSI and also Splunk Phantom which is basically a SOAR product or SOAR platform. SOAR stands for Security Orchestration Automation and Response. So Splunk is coming up with lots of different varieties. You can choose whatever the one best for you and for your organization, right? So as per your requirement, you can select one of the platform. Then if we talk about some of the popular certifications in the Splunk, so Splunk does provide some certifications like Splunk Core Certified User, Splunk Core Certified Power User, then we have Splunk Enterprise Certified Admin and Splunk Certified Architect. So these are the certifications available in the Splunk, right? then you might say that okay what is the benefit so we know that okay the certifications they show credibility right so these certifications they are there to validate your expertise in using Splunk that okay how expert you are in using Splunk and making the queries right and they also enhance your career opportunities in data analytics and 
cyber security because there is something that is validating your skills there, there is something that is telling that yes you have the skills right then uh, if we talk about career opportunities with the splunk so you know there are almost all the industries which are using any sort of sim device and splunk is the you know popular one so you can talk about it and cloud services you can talk about cyber security companies finance and banking okay healthcare and retail companies almost every industry is using right and there are these high demand job roles also splunk administrator sim administrator splunk developer you know splunk analyst or you can say security analyst so you can be using splunk and you know the thing is if you learn about one particular sim tool so other sim tools become easy for you because almost the same thing is there okay just you will find that ui difference is there and a little bit of language difference is there otherwise most of the things are the same okay then you can talk about data analyst and data engineer job roles where you will fit in if you are uh you know an expert in the splunk right so there are abundant career opportunities uh, you know the demand of the professionals is very high but the supply is very less there are less number of professionals available okay so you can say this is kind of a booming field okay and it's a very important skill to learn if you are interested in it cyber security and you want to have a good career right then this is the introduction we had about splunk okay so if you have any queries you guys can leave it in the comment section i hope you got to learn something new today and if you are interested in learning splunk so we are starting a series of uh, videos on splunk okay this is the first video in the series so make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the upcoming videos have a good day bye bye